These were just, uh, again, the dongs today. Kind of just want to do this and then whatever happens, happens. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I thought I, uh... Jax, of course. Hello, hello, how's everyone doing today? So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, I finally launched a YouTube channel. I'll post some highlights of the stream as well as maybe the occasional study video or theory video. Um, so make sure you guys sub to this or take a look at it. I'd really appreciate it. Maybe maybe get some new followers from it and stuff like that. For people who can't watch the stream or don't want to sub to see the uh, VODs, they can check out some of the highlights. First thing is that. Second thing, we're going to play some 200 today. Been running pretty bad at 500 and uh, I just feel like uh, playing some 200 today. So we'll fire up uh, three tables, the usual of uh, 200 and go from there. I honestly don't know if this is a call versus seabed, but I was looking at my leak finder lately and I'm, I'm still refolding a ton of seabeds. From now on, I'm just going to call and then look at it later and see if I was wrong, but I'll try and overcall if anything. Just feels like you want to do something with it, you know? It's it's kind of a lot of maybe backdoor potential. I don't know. So for the bigger size here. Oh, float some stuff. So I actually think that this is probably a bad. I mean, a three is not usually going to be good that often and be able to get to showdown. So I think betting it is okay. I'm just thinking here. I think just shove, honestly, on this card. Yeah, it's too bad. Can I have donks here? Let's try it out. See what happens. Thanks, don't hate me. How's it going today? I was just to say, if he bets, I don't know if I'm going to call. Let's think. So I did real high. I'm wondering if I could ever shove. It's not like we're going to have any offsuit diamond ones. Mm, I'll do this, but I don't know about that. Good mix, bet this sometimes. But on this board, we'll check a lot. So I just have so many hands to call there, I guess. Do I have to call that one always? Uh, thanks, Andre. I don't know about my 9-9 hand. I don't know if you watched, but I had 9-9 in that hand. And I don't know if it was good. I'm curious to look at that one later. Because when I think about who poker stars would want to potentially sponsor, it'd be probably somebody who's going to be super consistent, um, has some sort of community, some sort of following, and somebody who really likes stars. And I think uh, for those of you who follow me for a long time, you know I'm very pro poker stars. So if there was a site that I would ever maybe consider, it would be poker stars. So we'll see how it goes. Fortunately for me, I don't make most of my money playing poker. So whether or not I win or not doesn't really matter. And it allows me to sort of be unbiased as well. Like for example, if GGK came and offered me like 10 grand a month, 15 grand a month even. I probably would still say no. Honestly, I, I really would. I feel like I check too much here when I check raise. I guess it worked out this time. I don't know. I feel like sometimes I check too much, but maybe on that specific card, it's it's not bad because we are going to check raise pretty wide. And unfortunately, Andre, I hit the second nuts here, or I guess third nuts really with the 5-4. See, I always wonder in these spots, um, usually I'll default to this, but I think here could maybe make some sense. Snap calls, eh? Snap calls again. I want to shove, but I feel like I'm getting about to get snap called here. Ah. Uh, the suspense. Wow, we got a fold. I was kind of surprised. Joe Adams. What do I do outside poker? I have a few rental properties and also family business. An ace has to come up, really? It's funny, we last week we streamed 500 Zoom three times. We lost 1,200 each stream. And then we won a buy and a half last stream at 200. So if we have a winning 200 day today, is that just a sign or what?
You know I'm feeling aggressive today. I'm feeling stationy. Don't do it. I think rolling 70 I'll call. Oh, and sneaky there. He comes on every now and then, but I think he's expecting his, his first child, so I haven't seen him in a while. And I know he was just in Vegas for a bit as well, but we, we, were, we were talking about that when he got back uh, just recently, but... These were just, uh, again, the donks today. Kind of want, just want to do this, and then whatever happens, happens. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I thought I, uh... <laughs> Jax, of course. That's uh, definitely in the pipeline, is to get that that clown emote. Also, so many things that I have to uh, finish up on. I have to I actually think maybe just a medium size on this board. So you want to put 10, 6, 6, 3. We could do this, even though like one straight gets there. Okay, so this one I'm just going to call, and I, I don't know if it's a call, but again, I said it kind of at the beginning of the stream. I, I did a little bit of my leak finder. I noticed I'm overfolding into sea bets. I don't know if that's a little bit much, but... And now that we're here, I think we can do that. Ah. I hate to say it, but I hope a, I hope a cash streamer wins the Dare to Stream Challenge. Poker says has enough MTT streamers. 70. Nine. Nine we could work with. So quick stream today. Let's see how we did. So back on the losing end of the streams. Um, but it's okay. <laughs> One money showdown, only 26. Blue line beautiful as per usual this month. And yeah, thanks everyone for the follows again today. We'll be back on Thursday, probably around 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern. I uh, so hope to see you all again then. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye for now.